moment, a man assaults a woman who is out running, trying to pull her off a sidewalk and into his car. Now, that victim was sexually assaulted, attacked in broad daylight Sunday morning on a well-traveled street. And tonight, WBZ's Ken McLeod talks with a neighbor who saw the woman fight off her attacker. She knew exactly what she was doing. Ba-boom. Don Prohovich is both stunned and amazed by what he saw in front of his next door neighbor's house Sunday morning. The world is not the same. Enhanced surveillance video from a nearby liquor store shows the suspect's orange Hyundai pull over next to the jogger. And within moments, he's both accosting and groping her as Prohovich scrambled over yelling. She was on the ground and she was struggling to get away from him. It was 7.30 on Father's Day morning, and Pleasant Street was fairly busy. But police say 57-year-old Gordon Lyons was intent on pulling that jogger into his SUV. Let me tell you, this is anything but a victim. This young woman is very courageous, very independent, and she fought back. Indeed, between her fight and the approaching neighbor, police say Lyons abandoned his kidnapping effort. Fortunately, before the vehicle left the scene, the female victim was able to take a picture Revealing a partial plate, which she gave to police during her 911 call, enabling them to quickly arrest Lyons when he wrecked on nearby Route 24. Her inner strength left Prohovich emotional. She took the picture. She had wherewithal to do all these things. Great. Really great. Lyons, injured when he crashed, will be arraigned on kidnapping and sexual assault charges tomorrow. The victim told police her coating of slimy sunscreen helped her wriggle free. She was terrific. In Bridgewater, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.